Hey there and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, I will make the camera and implement player animations. First, I will make the camera. For that, I will open OBJ player and add core inside the create event. This line enables the views and this line makes the first view visible. And here, I am initializing three local variables, one for the width of the camera, one for the height of the camera, and one for the scale of the window. Then here, this function is creating the camera and storing it inside a local variable called cam, and the camera will follow obj player. This function applies the camera inside the variable cam to the view. And here, these two functions change the size of the game window and the game surface by multiplying the camera width and height by the scale. Now I will test the game. And you can see that the camera is working fine and is holding the player. So I have some sprites here, one for idle, one for moving, one for jumping and one for falling. But before implementing this, I will create a mask sprite. Because when you change the sprites for animation, the mask changes as well. So it's good to have a separate mask sprite. So for that I will duplicate this idle sprite and rename it to SPR player mask. Now I'll open it and remove the second frame and I'll edit it and here put a black rectangle. So this will be the collision mask of the player. So I'll open OBJ player and drag and drop this mask sprite here. And now I'll implement the animations inside the step event. So here at the end I'll add. So this code will run if a tile is not found below the player. So here if the VSP is more than 0 which means the player is jumping, the sprite will be set to a jumping sprite. But if it's not smaller than 0 which means that the player is not jumping, then the sprite will be set to the falling sprite. And here I'll add more code. So the else part will run when a tile is found below the player which means the player is on the ground. So this condition checks if the HSP is not equal to 0 which means the player is moving horizontally. And if the player is moving then the sprite will be set to the moving sprite and the image x scale which is the horizontal size of the sprite will be set to the sign of HSP. The function sign returns 1 if the value is positive and minus 1 if it is negative. And lastly here I'll add. So if the player is not jumping and is not moving then the sprite will be set to the idle sprite. Now I will test the game. You can see that the sprite flips when you change direction and the animation works well for jumping and moving. So that is all for this lecture and I'll see you in the next one.